You can pick up some Side Surf Cake Studio merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. Your friends will ask, what's Side Surf Cake Studio? And you can say, oh, let me show you. Natalie Side Surf here, Side Surf Cake Studio. And I'm going to show you how I made a cake of sidewalk chalk. Oh, I knocked those sweet tarts over. <laughs> They're falling off the table now, so this is a great start. <laughs> I'm shaking out the sweet tarts because they are going to play a very important role in this sidewalk chalk cake. First things first, let's sort them by color. We've got blue, purple, red, green, and yellow. I got some blue over here and then some yellow. And those aren't even green, those are red. <laughs> Put them with the reds. Now yellows, greens, purple, red, all right, all right. Now let's bag them up. Now before I smash these sweet tarts into a fine chalk-like powder, I have a decision to make. Today I am making four pieces of chalk, not five. So that means one of these has to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Purple's gotta go. <laughs> I've crushed the candy, so now I'm sifting it because I wanna separate the larger chunks, leaving just that candy powder behind. So the candy is crushed and I will bust that back out later. But first, let's carve some cake. I'm cutting this delicious pineapple flavored cake into four sidewalk chalk sized chunks. Then I round off the corners of all four with a large serrated knife. Now I cover each tiny cake in a layer of lime buttercream. And on to rolling out the modeling chocolate. Each of these cakes will be covered in a final layer of modeling chocolate. I colored the chocolate to perfectly match the candy powders that I crushed earlier. Well, maybe not perfect. When I say perfect, it reminds me of this Will Smith quote where he said, I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. I'm going to have to disagree with Will on this one. <laughs> because I don't think that you have to be delusional to be successful. I'm just going to continue living in reality and admit that I'm not perfect. And then I can use that as motivation to improve. Because in my opinion, that's the best way to grow and get better. I'm adding lined texture to the end of the chalk in different directions. I want it to look as if this chalk has been used and scraped against the sidewalk. I'm even including some tiny holes that I see in real sidewalk chalk. Used chalk bump into each other quite a bit and then the color rubs off. So I'm painting a few areas of each chalk with marks of the color of the other three chalks. Now that the yellow chalk is finished, I'm doing the same thing with the rest of the colors, only I'm going to give them slightly different wear and tear. Ooh, I actually came up with this design because of you all. Honestly, I think that my best ideas actually start with you. <laughs> your comments and your opinions and your ideas, they all help me brainstorm and come up with new cake designs. So keep it up. <laughs> keep letting me know what you think in the comments. So for this cake, I was inspired by a few comments that I read on some of my cake cutting videos where you said that you're just waiting for the day that the table is cake too. And I love that idea. So much that I drew inspiration from it. But rather than placing sidewalk chalk cakes on a cake table, I'm placing them on a cake sidewalk. Speaking of cake sidewalk, let's work on that next. Here I'm icing a sheet cake in buttercream. 
This sheet is about 12 inches by 12 inches. So no, I am not going to make the sidewalk portion of this cake the actual size of a sidewalk. And that's just because it's too big. I'm rolling out gray modeling chocolate and I'm gonna use this to cover the sides of the sheet cake. Now, come with me. Let's take this outside. I'm mixing food safe molding putty and I'm pressing it onto a real sidewalk. Then I just wait 20 minutes for it to set and I peel it away. Now I can't get a more perfect sidewalk texture than that. I cleaned my mold very, very well. And then I press it on my modeling chocolate. And here it is, we've got an edible sidewalk. Before I cover the top of this cake in sidewalk, <laughs> I'm carving out a section that'll represent where two planes of sidewalk meet. I like to think of this crease as the unofficial sidewalk chalk tray. <laughs> Why just let your sidewalk chalks roll around all over the place when you have the perfect chalk tray built right into your sidewalk? <laughs> It's time to paint. This black food color has a bit of a blue base. So what I'm doing is I'm adding orange to cut that blue. Are you ready to see something really neat? I'm taking a wet paper towel and I'm lightly brushing over the surface. So this picks up some of that food color, creating highlights. And I love this effect. Who knew a sidewalk could be so pretty? I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. And I finish it off with a final wash of gray. And now it's time to bust out those crushed candies from earlier. I'm using a paintbrush to shape the candy powder into letters on my edible sidewalk but what's it gonna say? It's gonna say cake. I mean, that's what it is, so why not? I really, really like the way this is looking. I was a little nervous I wasn't gonna be able to make it look like it's actually chalk drawn on a sidewalk, but this isn't too bad. And last, I place my four cake chalks onto my sidewalk all random-like. And there you have it, a sidewalk chalk cake with a cake sidewalk. I have no clue how I'm gonna cut this one, so let's just dive in. Oh man, this is the best. I love it. Thank you all again for helping me come up with this idea. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next week for another cake.